This video tutorial looks at the mathematics of matrices and more specifically we're going to focus on our understanding of matrix multiplication. Okay, so I guess we need to understand how we multiply matrices. Now this is very similar to how we multiply uh, normal numbers or normal uh, mathematics. I should say, ordinary mathematics. Um, but the thing you need to know about matrices is we always write the row matrix first and the column matrix second. So we're going to use a bit of an example to try and explain this. Um, suppose you go to a shop and you want to purchase uh, three soft drinks, four chocolate bars, and two ice creams. All right, now we can make a matrix of that, um, as shown over here, A, a matrix of three, four, two. Okay, three, uh, three soft drinks, four chocolate bars and two ice creams. And we know that the purchase price of these items is here. Okay, so the soft drinks are 130, the chocolate bars are 90 cents each and the ice creams are $1.20 each. All right, and we can create another matrix based on the prices as we've got in matrix B. Okay, 130 for soft drinks, uh, 90 cents for chocolate bars and $1.20 for ice creams. Now, if we're going to work out the total purchase of this, okay, using what we'd consider ordinary mathematics, all right, it would look something like this, all right, where we've multiplied uh, the cost by the number of items we've purchased, and that would give us our total value of $9.90. We can do the exact same thing using matrices. And the example is, all right, B times A, where we've got our row matrix first, which happens to be the price matrix. All right, and we've got our column matrix second, which are the items, and we simply multiply our price by our items. Okay, so we've got 130 times by three, 90 cents times by four, and 120 times by two. And you can see that we end up with the same price of 990. So a good example of this as a general rule is in our blue box. Okay, all the way over here on our right hand side, where we've got our first item in our row matrix multiplied by the first item in our column matrix will give us our first value of our total. And subsequently, our second by our second will give our second, and our third by our third will give our third. So something to, uh, to consider when we're looking at uh, matrix products or matrix multiplication, because remember that product means multiply. All right, so basically for an M by N matrix or a, a rows by column matrix, all right, with an N by P matrix or a row by column matrix, uh, then the matrix that you, at the, you get at the end is always going to be uh, the rows of our first matrix multiplied by the columns of our second matrix. As an example, here we have a two by two and a two by two. Our final uh, matrix is gonna be a two by two because we multiply this by this. Another example, in our second uh, down here, we've got a two by three matrix and a three by one matrix. When we multiply them, we take the rows from our first matrix and multiply them by the columns of our second matrix, which is why we get a two by one. All right, so um, another quick example, if we had a three by three matrix and we were gonna multiply it by a three by two matrix, then our result would be a three by two simply because we're multiplying this value and this value. Okay, so here are some practice questions I'd like you to have a go at. Um, please feel free to pause the video. Once you think you've got the right answers, continue the video and we'll see how you went. Okay, so here are the answers. Um, in our first question, it says find A, B. Now, if we look at this example, we can see that one times three and B is a three times one, so therefore our A, A, B value is gonna be a one times one. Again, we just multiply the first parts here, we multiply the second parts, and we multiply the third parts, and we add them all together to get an answer of 49. In our second example, we've got a one by three by a three by two. 
All right, and here we've got, we're going to end up with a, a one by two because we've got our one and our two here. So essentially we've got one times one plus three times two plus five times one here. And then we've got a one times zero, a three times three, and a five times four. And they will end up with our two values being 12 and 29.